Challengers so. Finals, uh, Venia. This is Aussie, guys. No, it's not. <laughs> Venia versus Gen. H03K versus Deadly Alliance. Here we go. PS2, a classic Winners Finals, a classic Grand Finals. These two have fought each other, each other so many times, Wolf. Yeah, man. I mean, these two are definitely both candidates to just take Xeno, right? Uh, for, for so long, these guys pretty much pretty much just run, run ran New York. And still do, as we see them both in Winners Side Finals. Venya actually just trying to immediately end Jen's whole career! He's already got him at 103%. You saw him just kind of chilling on that stage. Jen, th this is very classic Jen, to be honest. I, Jen yeah, always so gets right. his ass kicked in like, the first game, the first couple of stocks, and then he starts to adapt. So like, it's, it's no shocker to me. He just takes a second. He's already got the, he didn't even lose the stock. He's already got the ball rolling here. He's already got this edge guard starting up against Venya. Now, Venya, fantastic Greninja, unfortunately, didn't get to see his true prowess at Defend the North. He had some uh, family issues, so he wasn't able to finish off that bracket. So he's coming here to House 2000 at Zeno, try to put home a message. Yeah, man. And Jen being at Area 51 now. Uh, yeah, I mean, he got fit at Defend the North. Yeah. So he's, he's, a, <laughs> well, I said, it, I said it before, I said it again. We gotta he's break out Jen. Gonna, yo, he's definitely gonna be like, way, Are you going? Way higher. Are you going to Area 51? Wait, really? Are you, are you going? Wait. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, maybe. Who knows? Okay. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. All right. Well, he, he just got sent there. Venia landing that forward air, retreating a bit to make it a little bit safe with that spacing. The first stock going to Deadly Alliance's Venia, but Jen's coming on immediately, spawning and getting that back. They're trying to push him off. Now, this is going to be a really important factor for Jen. Just try to, like, keep him near the edge of the stage because when Venia has all that room to control around, this is what happens. He just needs one little sneak of a hit. He's able to carry it so far. Exactly, and uh, it, it, it's 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 hard for, it's hard for Jen, right? Because Venya is putting on this pressure. Great up air, but unfortunately not going to do it just yet. Okay. Beautiful and beautiful bread and butter by by Jen. Yeah, Venya yeah. was deing that inward, so I mean I don't think he could have escaped that, but it made not it a either. hell of a lot easier for Jen to get that raw back air. But he's also, you know, Jen is also very good at reading DI because he also can use it as he also can use it as a mix Ooh, up. Yeah, there's no DI the involved there, up bro. Smash. There's no DI involved there. Get that down tilt. Get that up he smash. Sneakaroo. Here we got, got some more nares. 37% on Venia. I like Venia. that escape. He went back and forth just to go to the edge of the stage. He's been practicing his hydro pumps a lot, so I'm not surprised to see him use it in a in a, in a, in a, in a very different way. Venia like invented the hydro pumps back in yeah. Smash 4. <laughs> His movement is so clean. Why did that down to a center so far? <laughs> that was that was interesting. I mean, for a laggy move, you know, I, I agree. Okay, back here gonna be able to get that parry because it's a multi-hit. Next hit's gonna come out, but we got that nice, nice percent. Oh, it got ruined. Oh no. And now re-grab, free down smash. If Venny's gonna go for this, gets the back air. He's out of jumps. This might be the end of the stock. Nice catch from Venia. He's gonna try his hardest to get it onto that ledge. Nice high recovery, but the Hydro Pump's gonna mess with it just ever so slightly. Jen try to drag him down into a grab. Unfortunately, that wasn't. Oh my God! The no. <laughs> Show him the light. You yeah, know, and at this point, if you are Jen, you have to see. I mean, it's obvious, but you do have to see the stock up as soon as possible. And then at this point, you can't. You know, Venya said this before. Uh, when you're at a deficit like this, you can't really play scared, right? Uh, he's trying. He's trying to look for this, for this back air or back throw, something to, to something to something to shed a little light on the situation. Still alive as Venya. Great catch with the double jump forward air, and Venya's gonna take game one. Yeah, that was a really good um, follow-up. He recognized that Jen was going to go for that double jump, burning some of his resources to get back to the stage, opting to recover high. When you get someone off stage like that, it, it's always going to come down to, are, are you get, it's a guessing game. Are they going to go high? Are they going to go low? Are they going to go mid? My man opted to go as high as he could. And you know what Greninjas like to do, man? They're, they're toads. They like to hop. They want to get up there. So going back to PS2, no shocker there. Uh, this is a fantastic stage for Palutena, and Jen also likes it. All of our games will be here, and Venia likes to pick this freaking song every single time. You, I like this song, but <laughs> come on, man. When you get, when, I feel like every Xeno, when you get to like semifinals, it's always just plays. Yeah, it's, 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 it's always just PS2. Like, uh, semifinals and five, semifinals and up. I don't Zeno care about seeing PS2. I hear hearing the same song when there's like 30 different Pokemon songs. Let's jump. Let's dive in, shall we? Yeah, man. Dash attack, not gonna do it just okay, not gonna convert into anything as you know, just trying to just trying to call out each other in the neutral. Great uh great nair by Jen. 
Yeah, Good he's gonna he's gonna get a lot off that nair. I like that he's going for the explosive flame just to kind of apply some more pressure against Benny off stage. But he just kind of turned the tables on him with that reverse nair. He saw that and crossed him up with it. That was disgusting, man. Okay, more down tilts, not enough to get that up smash right afterwards. But Benny is moving. Hold on a sec. And then he uh, he opted to go for the back throw, actually to just gain stage control. And then once again, he's been doing such a good job this game of keeping Jen at the ledge and calling out all of his teleportation or uh, recovery options. But I do like the fact that he, he went for that. Explosive Flame gonna do it because then you actually charge Shuriken. Yeah, that's a commitment. It's super rare too. My man bought an engagement ring on that projectile. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Okay, trying to get that up air just in case he wanted to uh, air dodge towards. They're not going to do it, but it is an air, a great air dodge trap by Venya. That pressure is so hard to deal with. You see Jen just land, like, think he's just trying to get away from that up tilt action. There we go. Fade away forward air, pushes him back off, forces the jump with the water shuriken. Sorry, the Greninja star, according to Detective Pikachu. Uh, Greninja star? It's water shuriken, bro. <laughs> Oh, he tried to go for the Trump, goes for the back throw instead. Jen's just gonna keep piling up on this damage. He's getting so and much mileage off of this stock. What in the world? You're gonna try to go vertical? Then he agrees upwards. There's a down here waiting with your name on it. He knew He knew that uh, he actually just uh, snuffed out Venya's Wait, hold double up. jump. I'm sorry, Jen just stood there waiting for Venya to just land right in front of him, got the grab, and continued to apply pressure. What is, is he gonna? Sometimes is, the best thing to do is nothing. <laughs> I mean, eventually, the Nair that's supposed to be the combo starter will be the combo finisher. That wasn't even a combo, he just, he just hit him with Nair. We're at 160%, like that's gonna happen. But here we go, Vinny's got a huge hill to climb here. He's got two stocks to take away from Jen or to try to bring this back. And one thing that Venya was saying that he, it's, you know, players, players at, uh, at, at this caliber, when they're down one stock to two or one stock to three, this is when they love to turn up. This is when their true heart shines. Ooh. When their baby boy comes through, man. You see him landing that Nair again at a shield option. He's going to be able to catch the up air right afterwards. Finishes off the game. And Jen with a commanding 1 1 tie. I mean, it's not a lead, but I, that felt like a lead for watching that momentum. Yeah, no, for sure. And one thing about Jen that I do want to point out is that he you're never safe when, when you're in the air um, because he, he's <laughs> laughing, dude. He's laughing with you. The, you know, because he always does, he has no problem going up there to finish off the kill, you know? Mm. And Venya, Venya definitely was able to air dodge the, to, aid, to air dodge out of that, or rather before, uh, so, so he wouldn't get hit. But he chose not to because he, he thought, he, he didn't think he was going to hit. He didn't think Jen was going to go up there. And now, uh, speaking of didn't think he was going to go there, we he, I didn't think he was going to go to FD, but this is like this classic is Venya. This is old school Venya. This is when he used to counterpick FD all the time because he was born and raised on Wi-Fi for glory. Found Destination 2 stock matches. That was King Venya. <laughs> that was who that was. Venya so, was the Wi-Fi warrior? Yeah, right? before his first tournament ever came to at Nebulous, he got fourth. His first offline tournament ever. That's how much he grinded that game online. Yeah, he, he had some he, he grinded and he had some natural talent. So let's see if we can try to bring this back with a stage, bring him back this old, old counter pick. I haven't seen FD from him in a while. It's just a lot going on the back of the stage. Oh gosh, okay. Great down, so it's a fair. I like the Explosive Flame once again, putting on pressure. That down smash! The, the Explosive Flame actually set that all up. It really it, did. It forced yeah. out the air dodge, forced out a low recovery from Venya, and then he was trying, it was a mix-up game, so he's gonna go for the ledge land right in front of him, and Jen chose correctly. Got a huge punish afterwards. It's all about being patient, just standing still. It's not all about just slamming your face against the buttons, you know? But I like to match. <laughs> I, uh, play Krom. <laughs> play Krom, man. That's all I can say. Here we go. Got some more Nairs. Good escape. Recognize what was going on. He needs to go for the double jump. But Vigen, again, just gets the smallest little bit of a hit confirm. Turns it into an edge guard. And one thing to point out is that when Jen is at the ledge, he's positioning himself where all anything that Venya does won't hit him, right? So Venya has to, Venya already has to go. He has to try and get back. I like that recover. Mm, that that's was tough. gross. It's so that that's tough for Venya. Okay, I like that down tilt forward air, bring it back a bit. Still two stocks to one, so it's a pretty huge deficit. But he's got some momentum. Got some coal in the truck. But I like that he used Shadow Sneak above the Explosive Flame as a way to like save his air dodge and double jump, but there was just so much lag afterwards that Jen just react to it. And that's a lot, that's one of the things that these two players are are, are masters of, right? Capitalizing as soon as your, your opponent makes as soon as their opponent makes a mistake. And that's one thing that Venya has to be careful. 
because it, it may work it may work on someone else but it's not gonna work on Jen as Venya immediately comes down with an aggressive option getting back on stage okay Jen's moving a sec doesn't want to commit to anything waiting for Venya to make that first move because he knows he has the lead by a large margin Venya's sitting at 100 percent one grab could put him off stage and put him into a death-like situation. Speaking of what, we got a back. Oh, that okay. up smash. And you have to give it to Jen, understanding that the, you know, because Greninja has a little animation before he up he up beats, right? Mm -hmm. So understanding that the animation came out and he immediately up smashed. So that was great recognition by Jen. That as Venya is, he is. He's looking for down tilts. There. Speaking of, oh, not gonna do it just yet. Too much rage. That's not gonna confirm. Okay, Jen trying to bait. Oh! oh! So the counter. Give me that instant replay, Devin, of that last stock. Cause I want to digest this a bit by bit. So this is really cool, right? Because you see Venia come up here. He's expecting Jen to roll behind him, which is why he goes for that spot dodge prior. Here we go. Let's watch this one more time. So you see him right here. Venia. Th okay. Well, before. Th sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Before that. But uh, basically, <laughs> right here, he expects him to bat roll right behind him. That's why he went for the spot dodge, because yeah. he's expecting a back throw. Jen covering the jump out of shield with a back air. And now right here, what he didn't even expect was, okay, Jen's going to land right in front of me. This is an opportunity for me to go for a forward smash due to all that conditioning I saw from him prior. And Jen pulls out the ace in the card, ace up his sleeve, gets the counter, gets and the kill. I'd like